Hi, Tyler Dinner Fidelity here at the Consumer Electronics Show, CES 2016. I'm in the Sennheiser booth with Sebastian Chaff Chaffee? Chaff 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 Sebastian Chaff. Sebastian's going to tell us a little bit about Sennheiser's new explorations of 3D audio. You can see this guy has some goggles on and he's listening to something. Why don't you give us a little uh, virtual tour of what you're doing here, Sebastian? I think so. We're showing three different technologies today. So these are new concepts in the prototype stage that we're showing to, to kind of get some feedback about um, our ideas, show what we're, what we're working on, and um, kind of get people excited about immersive audio, if that makes sense. So here what we have is actually a microphone for capturing sound fields. Um, using four capsules. Uh, this uses an Ambisonics A format capture standard. And this allows uh, users to capture, uh, capture sound fields with a single point microphone um, in VR cinema capture and immersive audio capture scenarios for playback in virtual reality systems, for playback over loudspeakers or uh, virtualized headphones. Um, to the right, we have what we call the venue modeling technology. This is the right side. These headphones are head tracking. So this is a technology for uh, modeling uh, acoustic actual environments. So you think of dance clubs, think of concert halls, think of any acoustic space where people ah, might subway be stations to sound. and malls and Absolutely. where where uh, crowd noise may get overwhelming. Yeah. Uh, so, Absolutely. Yeah. So th this allows users to uh, to be able to listen uh, listen to music or content um, over. The virtualized speakers that are based on a real measurement of a real acoustic space with a real sound system in it, um, and to be able to have the sensation of really being in that place, um, listening to that sound as if you were actually there. So, what do you think might be the first application for this, uh, for real? Yeah, so the, the first application we're looking at is uh, for DJs. So we, we want DJs to be able to hear what their audience is hearing as they're making their, as they're performing, as they're creating, um, as they're even preparing their set from home to be able to know what their audience is going to hear standing in the center of the dance floor um, in a specific venue that, that the performance is taking place on. Wow. So, so we do that by making uh, making measurements using a special algorithm we've developed with a special microphone prototype. We make a measurement of that venue over the sound system and that, allow, uh, that allows us to create a model and play back over headphones with head tracking exactly that sound experience that you'd be having uh, where that uh, measurement is made. Wow. Uh, I'm terrifically excited to to, to see that Sennheiser is doing this, I, I absolutely believe that um, Apple and Beats are going to be hard on this kind of technology. How long do you think it's going to be before we start seeing this uh, as commercial product and uh, applications that we can buy? Yeah, so uh, the, the last application I talked about, so the DJ acoustic modeling for DJs, we call venue modeling. Uh, this should be out on the market in 2016. Um, so this will come. 2016. Yeah, absolutely. This yeah. year. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So th this will come first as a as a software um, as a software product, and will be followed up by other incarnations in the future. Um, in terms of the the microphone I talked about, so this uh, sound field capture microphone prototype. Um, this this we actually are doing a run of prototypes now that we're going to put in the field, uh, hands of early adopters, you know, early content creators for virtual reality cinema. Architects architects of concert halls, perhaps, and yeah, things absolutely. like that. So we're trying to get feedback from them about what it is that they need in order to do their jobs uh, best. So this is, you know, this is converging the ecosystem. This right. is new workflows coming, um, new workflows being defined, you know, basically today, immediately, as, as, as uh, these ecosystems are being created. We want to put uh, tools in the hands of these content creators that are going to make their jobs easier and give them better results. Um, and then we want to get their feedback about what it is exactly that they need. And then we'll be rolling out a product that would say, you know, ideally this year, it could be next year, but the main thing is to get the prototypes out there and get people using them as this, uh, as this industry develops. You know, the thought occurs to me that if, uh, if the first product is going to be for DJs um, so that they can... Um, virtualize uh, what it's like for them to stand in the hall while they're creating uh, a set, um, that the next sort of evolution of that is selling that experience to uh, viewers. And do you see this as a product where 
uh, it's a new way of having a concert, personalized concerts. Yeah, absolutely. So that's definitely a concept we're exploring as well. Um, you know, there's many, many different applications of the technology that we're interested. Um, the DJ is one. It's a, it's a clear application. It's a very clear need that every DJ we've talked to said, absolutely, I would use that if you can listen. If I can listen to uh, what my audience is hearing over my DJ headphones as I perform, I need something like that because it allows me to do my job better. Um, we know that fans want that same experience. I mean, I'll just tell you, everyone who's heard it, is, it, okay, it sounds better when you're listening to it in a real space, even if that space is being re recreated over uh, modeling on headphones. It does sound better. It does give you that feeling of presence that you get inside a concert hall or inside a dance club. Um, and we, we do think this is something that customers will want uh, for listening at home as well. Wow, that is really cool. Um, thank you very much, Sebastian. I appreciate your time. And um, good luck punching this thing out. It's right. very exciting. All right, thank you so much. All right, toodaloo. All right, we'll see you guys at the next booth.